Awesome. Cool. We're being recorded. Aren't we always? Because that's what mobile telephones are for. Um, should I do an introduction? I don't know if I should do an introduction. Should I do an yeah, introduction? You've got, you can, we can't just say. We can't oh, just we can. to say, like, right, so we're doing this. So I'm I was hoping you would sort of take the lead there on an introduction since he seems so confident in doing one. Uh, yeah, this is... She's... Oh, shit. <laughs> I was going to take the lead then. Well, t- do it. Do it. Don't want to anymore. <sighs> <laughs> if I start, are you going to interrupt this? Start again. You know? this, is the cheese, this is the cheese pack, your best music of uh, 2020. Doing over Zoom. We're doing it in the cold winter months because COVID... Because we hate ourselves. Because that's the end of the year. It is the end of the year. It would be very uh, upsetting if we did like next year's 2021 in like July or something. Um, What, because the year is ending just just as the world's about to break apart? (laughs) Oh, we got to vote, everyone. She's fucking vote. Well, yeah. So the, the, the categories we had were rock, pop, hip hop slash rap. Uh, R&B slash soul miscellaneous which were just albums that just didn't fit into those categories uh, best local single best local album best single best EP and album of the year best rock album of 2020 so the nominations are Home with Women in Music Part 3 Declan McKenna with Zeros Phoebe Bridges with Punisher HMLTD with West of Eden and The Strokes with The New Abnormal. So the winner was Declan McKenna with Zeros, which I think is well deserved because it is his newest album since his first album, What Do You Think About The Car, in 2017. And it is a completely different, more developed sound, which has just shown a lot of growth and it's just really good. So best pop album of 2020, the nominations are Charlie XX with How I'm Feeling Now, Jesse Ware with What's Your Pleasure, Gorillaz with Song Machine Season 1, Rina Sayama with Sayama and The Weeknd with After Hours. And the winner of best pop album of 2020 was Gorillaz with Song Machine Season 1. Yeah, no, it was a Song Machine Season 1 is a good album. Um... There's a lot, all the singles were really, really strong for it, and the collaborations this time were very good, and it's a vast improvement over the 2017 and 2018 albums. And I'm looking forward to Song Machine Season 2. Yeah, and I think the different features allow them to have like lots of different sounds. Yeah, especially stuff like Desolée, which is completely different to where uh, Robert Smith go on strange times. <laughs> The nominations for Best Hip Hop Album are Clipping uh, with Visions of Bodies Being Burned, Run the Jewels with Run the Jewels 4, Freddie Gibbs and the Alchemist with Alfredo, Open Mike Eagle with Anime, Trauma and Divorce, and uh, Chel Miko with Maze. Okay, I'm glad. Uh, and the winner with uh, 36% was Run the Jewels, uh, a fantastic album. Uh, stop clapping. Stop. <laughs> stop. Um, it's a fantastic album with a nice rock production that's very politically charged and feels uh, ever so relevant to 2020. Uh, definitely came out at the very right time. This is a uh, best soul. Oh shit, it's like wrong. <laughs> this is, this is the best soul. <laughs> Casper. <laughs> this is the best R&B slash soul album of 2020 nominations. We have Mark, Mac Miller with Circles. Leanne Nella Havas, the self titled Leanne La Havas. Do we uh, try that one again? Yeah, I'll do that one again. <laughs> Leanne La Havas, self titled album. I'm not going to repeat it again. Sushi Trash with Nectar. Georgie, it's Georgie. Pollocks. <laughs> we have Joji with Nectar. Give On with Take Time. And Thundercat with It Is What It Is. And the winner of that is uh, Mac Miller with self-care and 38%. It's a great album, um, came out very early on, post hominess but it's a very relaxing album. Um, Blue World is my favorite one, one not. Uh, 
Uh, best best miscellaneous album. The miscellaneous albums were just albums that just didn't fit in it, into any other category, but I still think were worth mentioning because they were very, very good albums. Uh, the nominations for them were Poppy uh, with I Disagree, which was a blend of pop and metal, and it was quite alternative and very, very unique. Uh, the Dalai Lama with Inner World, just because of how ludicrous an album by the Dalai Lama is, and it's quite relaxed and quite soothing just to hear the Dalai Lama just read our prayers in the spoken word fashion. Um, there was Anna Roxanne because of A Flower, uh, which was an ambient pop sort of album that sort of looked at her uh, sexuality and stuff. It was very good. They had the microphones in 2020, which was one long song that was focused on memories. It was very, very depressing. Um, and there was One of Tricks Point Never with ma- magic One of Tricks Point Never which was sort of a psychedelia electronic album uh, that was very, very, very good in its production. That category, Miscellaneous, was a draw between uh, the microphones in 2020 and Poppy. Uh, two albums that definitely deserved it, uh, just because of how unique they are and how special they are. Um, both doing two stylistically different things. Uh, and both pulling it off pretty flawlessly. Um, next. Yay. I've got a joke for the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Is it that you want a, a pizza with one with everything? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know it. You can talk to me. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizzeria. You stole this off YouTube. Yeah, I did. Um, and the, the guy at the pizza on the, on the counter says, Oh, what do you want? The Dalai Lama says, oh, can I have uh, one with everything? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? <laughs> Best local album. Uh, this is for the northeast of England uh, because that was well, at Newcastle University. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah there's, there were some really, really strong local releases uh, this year. Uh, these included Field Music with Mate in the New World uh, Matthew Jameson was not this Holiday in Tokyo with Last Yucas is Overgrown uh, Courtney Dixon with Our Intuition Shamu with Use Your Voice uh, and Hector Gannett with uh, Big Car Car with a, with a massive 38% dominating pretty much the whole competition was Field Music uh, Making a New World which is a, an incredible concept album about World War One, which sort of um, goes through the, I don't know, the ups and downs of the First World War, uh, and every song leads into each other, and it's a fantastic experience. Definitely worth a listen. Local singles, hot, hot, hot local singles in your area. <laughs> This is for the hottest local single of 2020. This is the best local singles of 2020 nominations. We have Plastic Glass with Let Me Know, Kay Grayson with Paris, Picnic with I Need Everybody, Jody Nicholson with Move, Hive Mind with Medicine, Lottie Willis with Voices. We also have Glovel, Wanna Hug You Like the Winter Time. It was a close one, this one. However, Plastic Glass one with uh, Let Me Know with 29%. It was a very close one. Uh, But there you go, well done, Plastic Glass. This is the best single of 2020 nominations. Uh, We have... You're not reading a tannoy. Put a bit of heart into us. This is the best singles of 2020... I don't have enough energy to do that. Right, okay. Uh, This is the best singles of 2020 nominations. We have The Weeknd with Blinding Lights, The Strokes at the Door, Joji with Gimme Love, Slump AK with Syrup, Coco with Empty Beach, Tyler the Creator with Best Interest, Thundercat with Dragon Ball Durag, Declan, Declan McKenna with The Key to Life on Earth, and Charlie XCX with Forever. And the winner of this one was Weekend with Blinding Lights with 34%. So well done to The Weekend. Not that it needs our praise. No, I mean, <laughs> very popular song of 2020 it is. And I don't think the tune will ever get on my head. So, best EP of 2020. Um, the nominations are Gentle Dom with Fantasy, um, Tai Chi with Die for Your Love, JPEG Mafia with EP, 
Ravina with Moonstone, Fever Bridges with If We Make It Through December, Wallows with Remote and Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats with Unlocked. The winner was Wallows with Remote, which I thought was a good album, but very different to the normal rocky stuff. It's a lot more electronic and different effects and stuff, but yeah, still very good. In Jake's humble opinion, Deflin should not have won <laughs> that by the the percentage you did. Well, I understand why he did because Wallows are big. What I think- I Sorry, we're getting we're getting into conspiracy theory. Wallows thirty seven percent, the majority vote. Definitely shouldn't have got that. What the fuck are you all doing? Tai Chi, Gentle Dom, JPEG Mafia, oh, Phoebe oh, Bridges, or well, far probably, superior. They're just a bigger band. They've got. Back on, let's go. Album of the year. In Cheese Packet's case, it's probably more detrimental to the artist to win this award, but we're still doing it. Uh, the nominations were The Strokes with The New Abnormal, Charlie XCX with How I'm Feeling Now, Rena Sayama with Sayama. Clipping with Visions of Bodies Being Burned, Joji with Nectar, and Phoebe Bridges with Punisher. Then we have uh, The Weekend, After Hours, and Run the Jewels, not one, not two, not three, but four. <laughs> Fire on the Jewels. And the winner is. That's well, please. The weekend. the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, The Weekend. <laughs> God's <laughs> Day, mate. That's hours. God's Day. Uh, no. Not my album of the year, but I respect but this album a lot. Radio, Joe, uh, not Joe, Jake. Is everyone's opinion counts? <laughs> Apart from those that use Twitch, they're bad. I mean, out of all the albums that were on the list, uh, the weekend I would say was my favourite at the time of voting because I hadn't. Listened yeah, but to you've listened to like five new albums this year. <laughs> not me. No, I, I listened to Punisher by Fury Bridges and. I didn't really like it, but I fell, fell in love with her. And then Joji, Nectar, I've listened to, um, and it was all right. The first two songs. Oh, have you actually finished Nectar? Yeah, first two are my favourite. The rest of them were a bit meh. If you have to say, have you actually finished an album? Yeah, I, didn't, <laughs> I, actually, I didn't finish Man on the Moon 3. I just got too bored. Man on the Mo- Moon 1. This list was done before Man on the Moon 3 or The Avalanches. Uh, we will always love you. Anyway, was so the statement I'd say to use. the weekend. Is my yeah. favorite to say, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's great synth pop. Uh, yeah, personally, good 80s, hmm? good 80s influences in there. 